Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage Parker table lighter, petrol roller lighter, a very familiar design in a much larger format and than we are used to. Pretty cool, reliable lighter. This is the first of these that I have encountered. This lighter shows wear, scuffs, scratches, Dings, dents, probably some plating loss somewhere in this abuse that the base has taken. Definitely some corrosion, dings to the finish. But still, overall, a very attractive and nice lighter. It is heavy enough that it really, at least for me with my weak hands, requires two hands to operate. But with that caveat, it works pretty well. I don't see many people carrying around a lighter that size in their pocket anyway. Very heavy. Definitely a table lighter as opposed to you see these other roller lighters that I have handy here. I don't even carry a wallet anymore. I definitely don't want to be carrying that thing around. Am I just there for a little bit of size comparison? There are dings and wear. scratches it's a very nice working mechanism and it seems to be solidly made similar to the Dunhill Rollalite If you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, please subscribe to the channel. Please like the video you are watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit that share button. Send the link off in a text, in an email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like Dependable Flame and DependableFlame.com across all the social media platforms. That'll be Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. The heft of this lighter is definitely taking its toll on my left hand. It's Mark Parker table lighter, number 125, patent supplied for, made in USA. 
And as I said, you can definitely tell that the base has taken a good deal of the wear and damage and abuse that the lighter has accumulated. I looked this up on the Toledo Bend BCL site and learned something new today that Parker Beacon, Parker of London, was created by Alfred Dunhill, who was also the creator of Dunhill, of course, but that this was that Parker was sort of the economy line of lighters and accessories. So that's uh, pretty cool, good to know. I knew they were related somehow, but didn't know what that relation was. I'm not going to take this apart now because I just don't want to unscrew that. But you can see in the uh, repair video for this lighter where I re-wicked it I take the flint mechanism apart and as you can see that screw is missing as long as you don't do anything stupid it's not really necessary the wheel is going to have to be put back in a certain way for it to spark correctly but other than that there's not much to it. Pretty cool mechanism, but I will be on the lookout for a screw. Just couldn't find one quickly right here before I began making this video. So if you like having a table lighter sitting around right beside you on the coffee table or out on your patio, wherever it is that you're smoking your pipe or cigarettes or whatever you choose to combust, this Parker table lighter would be a good choice. It has a big tank, will hold a lot of fuel for a long time. lights fairly reliably so far as I can tell and it's a nice looking lighter my friend David Ward over on eBay or over on Facebook we conducted a trade a few months ago a couple of aluminum block lighters I believe and a Cygnus and a Waldorf I believe and then afterward he posted a picture of the Cygnus along with the Parker table lighter that he already had and said that was his motivation for the trade was to have a pocket lighter that closely resembled his table lighter and I agree I like the idea I, I love the roller lighters especially the aluminum block lighters because they are so affordable But any of them, um, and the Dunhill, man, to me, Dunhill is the, the gold standard. It's the one that everyone is measured by. So if Parker is related to Dunhill, then I'm going to be interested in that. Seems to be a very well-made, sturdy lighter. That you could also used for a paperweight in the Oklahoma wind we have problems sometimes needing to hold things down so maybe I will set this out on my porch unlikely being the last thing of value I left out there unchained was a very nice dragon ashtray brass Vintage, maybe even antique. I don't know. It was really cool, really nice, really heavy. And it was stolen off my 
front porch several months ago. I have the ring camera footage to prove it. So I'll keep this lighter in the house for now, but probably be selling it soon if you're looking for a good table lighter. I don't buy them often, but when they arrive in lots with other lighters that I've purchased, I'm glad to put them to use and sometimes use them myself and other times move them on. So keep an eye over there on dependableflame.com slash current eBay listings and soon enough you can uh, be purchasing this lighter over there for yourself every purchase that you make from our eBay store benefits HDSA Huntington's Disease Society of America with 10% of every purchase going to the charity and we also have three penny start auctions each month where 100% of the proceeds of those listings go to HDSA I provide free shipping, high bidder pays the money, and the charity benefits 100%. This has a really nice fill screw. With the gasket still intact, spare flint compartment inside big sturdy heavy fill, fill screw on that one Until next time.